a young lady, a, a young woman who wanted a child desperately. And she went to somebody and the person said, well, I know what to do and you will have a child. But that when this child is 20, 20 on the dot, make sure you return this child back for some kind of sacrifice that will be done. And the woman looked at the old man and said, 20 years from now, you probably will be dead. She pointed at a tiny boy who was playing there and said, this boy will be alive. He's the one who will be here. This is a case that I handled. It's not a story they told me. When this lady was 20 on the dot, may God help you to come and stand near her and say you like her. You see what will happen to you. You came innocently. Oh, it's not like any you are bad. You are not bad. Church born again person just came and things started going haywire. And then people started advising the mother, say quietly go to that man and resolve whatever it is or his son. So someone recommended her that she would come to me. When she came and I looked at a lady, wonderful lady, wonderful woman, the realm of the spirit doesn't care. Did you hear what I said? Wonderful lady, wonderful man, the realm of the spirit does not care. Foundations are powerful. Foundations are powerful. Regions have foundational problems. You know the power of foundations by the patterns that follow. The patterns, as it happened to son, it happened to father, it happened to elder brother, families where women feed the men. No matter how hardworking the men are, something must happen. Hallelujah. But this is why God has ordained a meeting like this. Because in the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God, everything that needs to be corrected for your glory to rise, everything that needs to be put in place this night in the presence of the angels and the presence of the mighty one who is the king of glory, it must be corrected this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. I came from a background and a family and a region where I didn't see some things happen to people. I had to sit down and study it sincerely and, and to be honest myself. That if I have to rise to a position where I'll be able to serve and honor the name of the Lord at a global scale, there are things that need to be corrected and done. I've told you my story. As a man of God, demons used to oppress me. Most people will not tell you the truth. They didn't care that I was anointed. It didn't stop the sick from being healed though. Yet I will go to bed and here comes this wicked spirit. And because of the prophetic inclination, I would see them. I thought it was so with everyone. How can I go and preach and a spirit is running out in a meeting and yet coming to me in a room and I'm driving it and it's not going. Have respect for the covenant. I know one, a very proud gentleman years ago, he walked into my room. I used to counsel in a small room that time. And he walked to me and I saw a spirit standing behind him. And he was sharing with me some of his challenges. And I said, can I pray for you? It looks like there's something. He said, no, 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 I don't believe that. I said, okay, no problem, I'm sorry. Let me just pray. As I said in Jesus' name, the last thing that gentleman will remember was maybe like 30 or so minutes later on when he even recovered. For the next three days, he kept texting me what happened. He said, this is everything I believe. I don't know where to start from. Let me tell you the truth, foundations are real. Foundations are very, very real. Hallelujah. Foundations are real. You find patterns, you find all kinds of demonic things that seem to veto the efforts of men regardless what they do there are sincere men of god who have graces that should be speaking across the globes but these foundations because of an incorrect foundation that has not been dealt with with understanding the devil does not need to cause medical problem a problem of delays and pain and all of that he doesn't need to do that all he needs to do is to ensure that that faulty foundation remains the, the faulty foundation will manufacture itself many kinds of wrong problems. Do you cut a tree by removing the leaves one by one? Think how burdensome that labor is.
foundation by the time you uproot it even if the leaves are still green just leave them is a matter of time they will dry up because it has lost contact the same way that tree fell this is how i declare over someone whatever has connected you in the name of jesus it gives way this night listen carefully this is someone's deliverance already i've shared with you you see by reason of of the prophetic i have i have encountered many spirits i don't share all these testimonies because i want people people's faith to be grounded on scripture not just on prophetic experiences are we together yes but i i, I usually repeat the ones i've shared for emphasis that I was praying one night and all of a sudden my ceiling just disappears and I see this strange creature having an eye as big as a human head two eyes fierce anger help them please with the tail that looks like a dinosaur the tail had its own life separate from the creature and it was looking at me like I'm looking at you fuming and he says, so you think you can bring God's people into abundance? That is a spirit that controls poverty across territories. Let me speak to someone. Whatever has kept your family down, honestly, in the name of Jesus Christ, the one who is the lifter of men, I decree and declare, every spirit lets you go now. Let's you go now. He must let you go now. hallelujah sit down please many years ago I came into this city and usually when I come when I'm traveling I would just take a cab moving across the city I would take a cab and I remember one of the drivers that you know I took the cab he was talking to me and he said I listened to him he was speaking in broken English and he said there is a spirit in this city that never allows money to stay in the hands of people. This was a driver speaking. And he said he would get money and yet not be able to do anything. So I think maybe they consulted, you know all these people, they believe in everything. So they consulted a medium or some kind of thing that now told him that the moment he has money, he should run out of the city and go and start something. And he said he was almost completing his house. Now you don't have to be under that kind of threat. There's authority in Christ, but it comes through light. It does not come through desire. The challenge with believers is that we make bold claims of the manifestation of the promises without the requisite level of light and illumination. God forbid, I can't be in this situation. What is the light that supports that statement? Otherwise, you will be wasting your time. Are we together? John 1, 5, And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There are families that it is not sickness that plagues them, but this spirit of poverty. Even if you make so, that someone in that family a director in NMPC, they will still be poor. Are we together? There are many people who will bring certificates for you. Three doctors, PhD in a family, and none of them has a good job. What kind of thing is that? There are people who have been in this city. The land itself has rejected them. Everything fights you. Everything fights you. Mm -mm. Is someone learning? Maybe there's someone watching, there's someone following, and you're saying, Apostle, you are just describing my situation. As a family, we, we don't know what the problem is. Don't know what the problem is. You're taking, and after two, three months, here comes this strange and wicked spirit. And somebody comes to molest you, and by the next day or a few days after, you lose the pregnancy. That one will need more than medical attention. That one will need a miracle service like this. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I know someone who vowed to help a man. And I'm telling you, I, I kid you not. 
by the next day the person went to the office and the person said i cannot remember seeing you Abba, you can't remember seeing me when you said i should come with my cv tomorrow for instance and give me a job what happened hallelujah what of people who actually get things but they don't have longevity in their life i don't mean physical longevity nothing stays long the moment they have money just start praying for them because it's a matter in one month it goes down once you give them a position just know that in in two or three weeks in that office something must happen then they must lose it it's like if you don't lose good things the realm of the spirit is at a, a state of unrest if there is anything that is on anybody's head here that followed you for this meeting i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit i lift it up from you now i lift it up from you now i lift it up from you now hallelujah I know someone who traveled abroad responsibly just when they were checking people at the immigration i think i've shared the story they were looking for somebody who was a thief and they saw him and i think there was a up to 50 percent resemblance with the thief and they moved him to one room just like that i don't look like a rich man i don't look like somebody who is impacting the world my face now looks like a thief ah no every wrong every fail in the name of jesus that is programming evil over you that makes evil to look like good and good to look like evil i declare that fail is torn from your face torn from your face torn from your face torn from your face, from your face. 